Hola, Laura, ¿cómo estás? Ay, qué brillante estoy. Déjame arreglar un poco esto. Se ve mi fondo. Ugh. Estos dobleces que los odio. ¿Cómo están todos? Hello, hello. Voy a avisarle. I don't know if I'm speaking Spanish now because you're here. That's why. I don't know if I said thank you for the box that you sent me. I think last live I, I said thank you. Thanks for coming too. Because today is like an early day, an earlier day. And I have a high ponytail. I think you voted yes, right? I was like, oh my gosh. Hi. No problem. Hi, Erica. Hi, Lavelle. So good to have you. Hi, Lavelle, I think this is your first time here. I haven't seen you before unless you came and then say hi maybe in the bus. Um... I have so many Puerto Rican friends too. Today my lashes I think are okay, are okay. Hi Gail. So good to have you so early. It feels so weird, right? Hi Chris. Oh, we have our guest here. Yay, Alana. I love that name. Hey. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Is, every, is everything working good? Yeah, as long as you can hear me and see me, it should be good. Yes. Hi, Jenna. So we're just saying hi. You know, usually like the first few minutes, everyone's dropping and dropping by and saying hello. So you have a break, right? From one to three or something like that? Yeah, my break is um, right now my lunch break from working as a therapist. (laughs) Fun. You still work work in um, like, you know, like you, you have to go to work or you're working from home? I'm just working from home, so I just do telehealth sessions just like this over okay. Zoom or Google Meets, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is, there, is there any uh, approximate time that you will be going back to in, on-site? Or well, that was your job before? Um, Yeah, they're still trying to figure it out. We're hoping maybe a little bit over the summer, but probably more likely in the fall. Yeah. Um, because I'm located in Los Angeles, so it also depends on how the county decides to go back in person. Right. Um, yeah. And so we'll see. Yeah. Do you miss it? Yeah. Yeah, I do miss it in person. It's such a different feeling when you're like, you know, being really in a intimate, like conversation with someone, um, yeah. you know, face to face versus over telehealth, but it's been working okay. I'm, I'm actually surprised by how it's been over a video, but um, there's always like internet connection issues or like you can't hear each other. Oh, yeah. So that kind of is, <laughs> is difficult, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I would miss it. if I went like when I had my first kid and I was working, uh, you know, full time and then I stopped. I missed, you know, people a lot in the office. Yeah, it makes so, a big difference, you know, just yeah. being around people and um, just even some things like your lunch break, like running into people, having small talk and totally. just it's such a yeah. different feeling. So, yeah. But, yeah. So good to have you. Thank you. We can start. A, I know that you have a lunch break, so usually more people come mm-hmm. and they start coming and they start seeing it, so they can jump in. Uh, so mm-hmm. okay. um, this is Alana, and she uh, curates the subscription box Espresso Yourself, uh, mm-hmm. which is uh, let me. I'll I'll describe it, and then you correct me if I'm wrong. But kind of like coffee mm-hmm. plus self care box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So let, tell us how everything started. How you got started with this box. Yeah, definitely. So um, it's definitely a creation out of love for coffee and self-care. As I mentioned a little while ago, I am a mental health therapist. So I'm trying to use my professional background and um, just promoting wellness for women. But I also, you know, had a personal journey that got me here. So part of it was, you know, many years ago, realizing that I wasn't making time for myself, that I was always giving my time and energy to other people. And just noticing through that just how I wasn't feeling good. I was having a lot of anxiety and 
um, just feeling drained at the end of the day. And I realized like, why do I feel that way? And I was like, oh, I'm not giving any of that back to myself. Um, and so once I started doing that, it, it kind of clicked in me of, okay, I need to start making that a routine. Um, I need to do it a little bit every day. And then during this pandemic was when I started Espresso Yourself. And I wanted to provide a way for women to give back to themselves every single day as well. So that's kind of how the concept came about. And I love coffee. I love self-care. And so the combination of both um, just seemed really cool. And when you curate month to month, what goes into selecting the products? So when you select the coffee and stuff like that? Yeah, so um, one of the cool things about our boxes is every single product that's in our boxes is from a woman-owned business. Um, so I first look at that to make sure that um, I'm including my values of supporting small businesses, supporting women-owned businesses. Um, I also try my best to find minority-owned or eco-friendly. But what we usually do, I'll actually show you guys the May box, um, yes. is we always have a bag of coffee. This is our warrior box. So oh, slay the day. Look how cute this is. <laughs> this if this doesn't get you motivated every day, I don't know what will. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is a 12 ounce ground bag of coffee. This one's a dark roast. Um, but this is from a woman-owned business. And um, I usually choose a theme every month. So May is our warrior box for um, Mental Health Awareness Month. So we have coffee and then we have three to five self-care items. So I'll show you guys um, as well. So we have this really cute little, um, this is a crush your goals. It's like a card deck. So inside it has like inspirational little quotes for you today um, to kind of start off and you can use one every day. And then we also have a really cute little keychain, a little coffee cup with flowers. Um, yeah, these are little wellness um, strips that you can use every day. And we also have a book that um, helps oh. with anxiety. Um, this is actually from someone I met on Instagram. She wrote a whole book this pandemic and it's such a oh, good wow. book. And it's for women and um, to manage anxiety, perfectionism. It's just so great. So this is our warrior box. Each box also comes with a card. So this one says, you're the hero of your own story. So each card has the products inside. It has a writing prompt. Um, so yeah, that's an example of what comes in each box every month. There's a theme and then I choose the, um, the coffee and the items to really create a full, um, experience every month, which is really exciting. <laughs> what is the title of the book? The book is called, um, strong, calm, confident you. Wow. So this book, yeah, it's, so it's all about, uh, Kelsey who wrote it. She, is talking about her experience with anxiety and perfectionism and also being a woman and always trying to live up to all these standards and feeling the pressure of that and just her journey to healing and how um, she uses different tips and um, you know resources in her life to just kind of reduce that people pleasing tendency which is what I have as well <laughs> um, so yes, well, it's really cool you're because, in LA. I don't know if in LA is yeah. the same thing oh, sorry I enjoyed it but in Orange County uh -huh. it's so like so like that perfectionism and, yeah you know <laughs> everything. yeah and la has <laughs> yeah la has yeah. has the perfectionism but also like more of like the looks part of it too which orange county yeah. might have as well of like you have yeah. to look a certain way you I have know. to be like all these nutrition fads and exercise habits and healthy eating and all that yeah stuff. So it's a lot yeah and that is like such a good, uh, great use of her time for Kelsey, like the pandemic time. I feel yeah. like a lot of us, I, I was telling my dad, like, write a book, you know, write the book that you've been wanting because uh, my dad was saying he had to stop working, you know, but uh -huh. yeah, I wonder how many, uh, you know, books are going to come out of this time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. When we really get to sit and think about everything and then we yeah. have to consolidate it all. So, yeah, there's been a lot of amazing things come out of this pandemic, a lot of creative um, things, new ideas. Um, and that's kind of why I started actually Espresso Yourself. I started July 2020. Um, yeah. And I was kind of sitting around like, okay, I have all this, these ideas, this energy, I want to do something to help women, I want to do something that I can literally send and deliver to their door, you know, because this is such a hard time for people to access resources yeah. and um, support so yeah a really a really weird time to start a business but at the same time uh mm -hmm. it seems like it was a good time as well because you have made more time and um 
you know, this whole situation also makes you want to take advantage of the time that you have, the now and that way, because you don't know, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> how long we're going to be around. Uh, Sue was asking if the coffee is ground or beans. Is it always ground every month? Yeah, so we have ground coffee right now just because um, we haven't opened up other options yet. Um, since we're so new, but it is ground coffee right now. Um, a lot of the subscribers don't have coffee grinders, so I'm trying to just make it accessible to everyone. But I know some people have been asking about whole bean coffee. So is Sue asking if she would prefer whole bean coffee? I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll have her. <laughs> well, let me know, Sue. <laughs> Someone was asking also yeah. if you make espressos at your home. Yeah, so I actually love to make coffee at home. I've been learning a lot during the pandemic as well. Um, I think I've bought way too many ways to make coffee. So I have drip coffee <laughs> machine, French press, mocha pot, Keurig, like <laughs> way too many things. Um, but yeah, if if anyone follows me on Instagram at Espresso Yourself Box, um, I usually um, put in my stories my daily coffee. I love making homemade lattes. Um, trying out new coffee recipes and um, yeah, it's really fun. So how do you make the lattes? What do you use for that? Yeah, so I kind of make like a coffee latte instead of an espresso okay. latte. Um, so it's maybe not a real latte, but I just do my drip coffee um, with yeah. whatever coffee I have from the month. Um, and then I actually use an espresso milk frother, um, which I yes. love because oh. it's, it's literally the best investment I've had. I use it every day um, because it really just creates that extra texture um, of yeah. the milk. And what I love about mine is it it can do cold or hot milk. So um, you put oh. the milk in and then you can press the hot setting and it'll heat it and it'll oh. froth it. Or if you're doing iced coffee, you can just press it a little bit longer and it'll do cold. It'll keep it cold, but it'll froth it. Um, so I do that. And then I usually top my lattes with some cinnamon. Um, which yeah. I've really loved. So. I really want to buy an espresso, but you know, they used to be super expensive and now they're going, they're making some that are a little bit more affordable. And mm -hmm. I remember I was teaching this guy and we would go to his, I would go to his house and he had an espresso machine and the frother was separated from, because mm -hmm. he had it like mm -hmm. in, in kind of in the wall. So yeah. I always loved it. And then someone from my church was giving away an espresso machine, which is still outside. Mm -hmm. It was gigantic. It was probably oh, one wow. of the first ones. <laughs> And uh -huh. I was the most excited about the frother. And then they gave me the frother and the frother actually goes attached to that. that oh. uh -huh. So I was like, oh my gosh, I just wanted, <laughs> mostly I wanted the frother, you know? So I think I need to, I just need to go and buy one maybe. Yeah. <laughs> because I love that idea too. Like when I make coffee, like maybe to froth, um, mm -hmm. you know, like the milk or the creamer. Mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, so like maybe when we, we live in my in-laws right now. So when we move out, I do want to get an espresso machine because I heard it's like the best, like, coffee mm -hmm. so right now yeah. I make my regular coffee drip too um and i actually uh -huh. like it more than starbucks like brewed coffee mm -hmm. i don't like it that much i like my own like <laughs> the lattes i do like to go out for lattes because i don't you know yeah. i don't have a machine and stuff like that so yeah definitely i think just yeah figuring out what you can do at home and i love going out to coffee shops as well me nothing too. like that but um but yeah i think before like whenever i was making just regular coffee and i would just pour milk in it it would just get cold and it made me yeah, so sad. True. So yeah. yeah, buying the actual milk frother separate, the one that you can get, it it adds like an at home coffee shop vibe. I think I'm gonna <laughs> so ask you nice. for the I'm gonna ask you for the link for that one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mother's Day is this Sunday, so perfect. There you excuse. go. You deserve <laughs> and, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, in LA, I, what I miss about LA because I lived in sometime in Hollywood, then I lived in mm -hmm. Westwood. I worked in mm -hmm. West Hollywood. I miss the coffee houses and how different yeah. they are. So you have Starbucks, but you also have like little, you know, a brick and mortar, little coffee. Oh my, I miss that so much. <laughs> yeah, there's so many shops. I think like I try to make a point of going to a different one every single week, um, which is possible in LA because there's yeah. always new ones coming. And um, and it's just really exciting for me because everyone has a different vibe. They have a different story. They have different drinks. Like I love flavored drinks. I love the ones that are specific to the location. Um, people get really creative. So yeah, there <laughs> was one fun. and you, you probably know about this one, but I think it closed down uh, Karma mm -hmm. Coffee House on Sunset and Vine. I think it was. Mm -hmm. It was so it was kind of like a friend, the Central Park, because he had all those couches. Oh, so yeah. Nice. I don't know if you've ever been there. But another yeah. one of my favorites is Solar de Coenga. Hmm. Um, Coenga and oh, I can't remember now. 
But uh-huh. anyway, yeah, <laughs> I miss I miss that about mm-hmm. LA. Now the traffic, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I know it takes you like an hour to get to a coffee shop, but it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's very it's a very charming, uh, kind of entertaining entertaining city. Definitely, like there's mm-hmm. tons to do. So yeah, you never get like, bored here. <laughs> no. Yeah, and you can also walk depending on where you are. You can walk places too. When I was in Hollywood, I walked a lot because I didn't have a car. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was so fun. true. So yeah. every month when you're curating, you choose a theme and then you reach out to like women-owned businesses and you say, "Hey, I have a box." And you're very mm-hmm. specific because you have coffee and then you have like self-care items. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. So every month I try to think ahead. So I plan like three, four months in advance. Um, and I think about a theme that's related to self-care, right? So um, so our warrior theme for the mental health awareness month, which is May, is just really about kind of like um, boosting those inner strengths that we all have. And so I kind of have the concept in mind. And then I look for women-owned businesses that reflect those same values. Um, so that's why the coffee for this month is so perfect because it's literally like a warrior woman. It's so pretty. Uh, the packaging is beautiful too. It's just crazy. So yeah, so I've been so excited about just the the other women-owned businesses that I've been meeting through this process, just hearing their story and seeing like how excited they are about it. But yeah, I look for the coffee um, I may have people like on the wait list of people who've contacted me in the past. Um, and I'm just really, you know, doing a lot of research about what would fit best the items together. Um, I also just try to create a holistic experience, right? So I don't want to have like lotion in every single um, right. box because that's not helpful. Um, yeah. So I try to do a lot of different things, a lot of tools, if it's journals, books, um, if it is just other like inspirational, um, you know, trinkets, or if it's skincare, or um, anything like that. Like even in our April box, I had like a toothbrush, right? It was a bamboo toothbrush, because it's all sustainable businesses, <laughs> and woman owned. Um, but it was something that like we need for our health. Yeah. Um, so just kind of curating everything with this holistic experience in mind as well. Um, and the other thing too that I love to do is sometimes in our cards, I'll write like a suggested use and it details the routine you can use each day with the product. So nice. I'll say like, wake up with a cup of coffee and then sit down and, you know, read your book. And then throughout the day, use this product at night, light your candle and take a bubble bath or whatever it is. So I try to also, you know, show how people can use it as a routine throughout the day for themselves. That is awesome. I've been wanting to create more rituals about, you know, like around things, Mm -hmm. being more mindful. I was reading mm-hmm. a book called Slow Down. I can, It came in a box and I can't remember. It was so beautiful because it said, mm-hmm. like, sometimes you just can grab little things, like having your morning coffee yeah. and just making that a ritual in itself, you know? Mm-hmm. And slowing down, it kind of, like, that kind of um, recharges you and heals you just by doing that, you know, you know in like a more yeah. mindful way. Um, I'm probably not saying it right, but... <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's totally yeah. right. I think part of it is the activity that you're doing, right? So like a cup of coffee. I mean, coffee's healthy for you. Yeah. Um, it has antioxidants, but, um, and then being mindful with it, thinking like, oh, this is a nice warm cup of coffee. It's heightening my senses, a smell and taste. Um, and then also the intention of doing it for yourself, right? Like yeah. I'm going to take 10 minutes out of my day to just enjoy my coffee. Um, and that intention behind it as well is, is the part that really helps us to slow down, like you said, and be present and um, and just kind of like do it for us, which yeah. is really what I'm trying to help other women do is start their day every day for themselves with a cup of coffee and then, you know, trickle in little things that are simple throughout the day. It doesn't have to be a huge, a huge activity. Right. It can be small and simple tasks. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, for, for moms, it's hard, but I, I, I think I should wake up a little earlier than my kids. Mm. And that's the problem. You know, like I don't want to, <laughs> yeah. I want to sleep yeah, uh, as much as possible. But that, you know, like well, if I wake up with my kids, sometimes I'm running around. And then mm-hmm. the last thing I do like after they ate and they have breakfast is have my coffee. Um, yeah. But yeah. Sometimes it takes little things like that. Like, okay, I have to wake up a little earlier to be able uh-huh. to, uh, you know, enjoy the coffee. Uh, yeah. Hi, Mom Dukes. How are you? I, I didn't say hi to some people, but everyone said hello to you. And oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Mom Dukes says, I'm uh, sorry, Cheryl, right? Yes, coffee. I know. <laughs> coffee is the yeah. best. <laughs> yeah. And what, what has been the most challenging thing since starting your subscription? 
Yeah. So I think, you know, it was unique because I started it in the middle of a pandemic, um, which is a tough time to start a business. Um, I think part of the challenging thing was I had so many ideas for it. I wanted to create a subscription box. I wanted to create like meetup groups eventually, like a Facebook group, like a, a woman of wellness YouTube series. Like I had all these ideas and I had to really slow down and just like do one thing first. Um, and I think the tricky part with the pandemic is my business is already online, um, you know, inherently because it's a subscription box business, but all of the other businesses were starting to go online as well. So mm-hmm. it kind of became really saturated um, in the online space. But that's why I try to use my Instagram to really connect with people. Um, I've met so many amazing people through Instagram, just made new friends. Yeah. Um, you know, some people become customers, some people don't, but just um, just having that community space has been really cool. Um, but yeah, just kind of trying to still have have my voice in there um, as a business um, with all the other businesses um, yeah. that kind of <laughs> went online as well. So yeah. Meetups sound amazing. Meetups. Mm-hmm. That would be so fun. Yeah, that's my my goal. Once things open up, I'm like, I just want to meet everyone at a coffee shop and yeah. just talk about things. That would be okay. awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I know. Yeah. And I don't know what else you would say, but they, all the ideas sound good. And I think, you know, hopefully slowly as everyone gets vaccinated, I don't know that you're against, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like, we can't go back to that normal life. Quote yeah. unquote, that we had. And what was yeah, the response definitely. of the public when you, when you released the subscription? How did you um, perceive it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, I think, really love the idea. I think it really just spoke to them. Um, I actually, my Instagram page was just a coffee blog originally for okay. years. Um, so it was something I was doing just for fun and like visiting coffee shops and posting about them. So I already kind of was out there visiting small businesses and sharing about coffee. And so I was already part of that community. And then when I transformed it into a business, people were like, oh my gosh, I love it in terms of like, you know, it's providing exactly what they need to their door. Um, and it's something they already are passionate about. So that was exciting. Um, friends and family were on board, which is nice. And then um, just the Instagram community was was excited as well. So it's just kind of trying to keep that momentum up and and trying to figure out how to readjust with all the changes in the pandemic, changes with Facebook and Instagram. I think that's, I've also learned all of that stuff, the algorithms yeah. and, you know, and it has been, it has been different to change from like, a fun coffee blog to like a business, you know, and still yeah. wanting to provide that genuine connection with people um, and provide value while also obviously <laughs> having people use the product. So, and do you still write on the blog? Um, yeah, I'm. I have a blog on my website. So, okay. um, are you talking about the Instagram? No, your blog. I, I always like to get new blogs. Sometimes I want to read, you know, you blog, I don't know, blogs used to be, you know, maybe they still are, but for me, like, uh-huh. I don't have that many blogs on my reading list anymore. They used uh-huh. to be, you know, like, they used to be super big before Instagram, uh-huh. I think. And now Instagram is kind of like a blog in itself. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes it's hard to find, you know, new things to read. And I was just interested because I would love to read your blog. I think it would be fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So my Instagram originally was like a visual blog, I guess, if you will. But, um, but yeah, I have actually started a blog on my website um, because I want to provide more like tips about mental health, tips about self-care, coffee recipes, just like fun things that I think of. So there's a couple of blog posts on there right now, but I'm looking to add um, even more. So I have, I want to do at least one every month related to the theme of that month. Yeah. Um and and just keep adding to it there. So yeah, yeah that sounds fun. Coffee recipes sound fun too to make like, yeah like, you know, seasonal recipes or stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was gonna ask something I forgot. No. <laughs> oh, the name your the name espresso yourself. It's such mm-hmm. a fun name too. I think it's you know it's like it's so clever. You're like oh that's so <laughs> it's a fun. Was that the original your the name of your blog? Yeah. So oh. originally my Instagram was like espresso dot your dot self. Um, so it wasn't too far to change it, but I just, I love the plan words. I love, obviously like I'm a sucker for puns, <laughs> um, but it just kind of, it en- encapsulated the whole experience that I want to provide because it is coffee. And it's also like, how do you, you know, create your life the way you want it to be? Like, how do you express things that are fun for you? Things that are relaxing for you? Um, in your own life and just kind of getting back to to your own self in that process. 
Yeah, that's awesome. I can't remember mm. if I have a code, uh, a discount code when you send me a box one time. And I don't yeah, know I think still... you do. Okay. Let me see if I can find Ooh. it. So just in case, if you guys want to check it out or subscribe, you can use that as well. I'll try to find it on my <laughs> computer, on my phone. I'm looking to. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure you have one. And how much is this, um, the, this the box a month? Yeah, so we have two subscription options. So our full box, which is the coffee and three to five wellness items, all from low known businesses, is $49 a month with free shipping. And then our coffee only subscription is $19 a month with free shipping. Okay, so nice. That way you can get coffee delivered every month. <laughs> That's fun. I know. And that one sounds, yeah. my sounds really yummy. Uh, Lucia yeah. 15 is for 15% off subscription or one time purchase so if you guys want to check it out yeah yeah and it's you know it's pretty cool just um you know like my sister literally texted me yesterday she's like i ran out of coffee again how do i keep doing this and she's already trying to order from me i was like you need a subscription that way you never have to worry yeah. about losing you know like finishing your bag of coffee and then being like so sad about it so and it always um, it kind of forces you to try new coffees and discover new you know brands supporting also small businesses women-owned business i think it's kind of like win-win mm -hmm. all together yeah um, that's true yeah and did you want to give away a bag of coffee today yes i'd love to so we have this is our may coffee Yummy. i've shown you guys before this is what we're giving away today i don't know if you have a way for how you'd like to give it away because i don't yes, know who's we here usually, I, would, I would ask everyone that is here if you don't follow express yourself on instagram that you please do if you have instagram i know kelly doesn't so uh, hi kelly mm -hmm. i know you came <laughs> uh, but yeah what we usually do is like i'll have you choose a number from one to fifty and uh -huh. don't say it and then people will guess whoever gets to it close whoever gets closest without going over will mm -hmm. win okay so you can do that so think about it and then okay <laughs> we'll have everyone guess okay i'm thinking of a number okay i have okay, it in my so head everyone can start guessing um no <laughs> <laughs> so. So we usually have more people, but I think the change of time too, uh, some people are yeah. still at work and stuff. So it's been, um, I think it's, I thought it would be good for some uh, that are in the East Coast. Mm -hmm. uh, if I, I, when we announced and everything, but maybe some people missed it. Okay, so we're getting mm -hmm. some numbers. Um, Chris, I think you should guess again, because um, Erica guessed 27. Mm -hmm. But yeah, well, thank you so much for coming and taking some of time course. out of your lunch break. Um, of course. I it so much. And I love that, you know, and a lot of people are going to watch it later and they get to know you. And it's uh, it's been such a great experience to bring uh, curators live so we can chat uh -huh. and know who's behind the box. Yeah. Uh, and I'm definitely going to check out your blog because I, I love reading some, especially if it's related to mental health and uh -huh. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you do. Um, do you work with kids, kids or adults? Um, I used to work with kids um, for probably like three years. And now I've switched over to adults this okay. past year. But even before then, I was like tutoring kids and babysitting. Oh, yeah. So a lot of experience yes. with kids. <laughs> yeah, because my son is seven and he does telehealth too. Like he has ADA uh -huh. and uh -huh. it's, it's kind of hard, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's hard on telehealth, especially for kids. Like, yeah, because they walk away and the guy's like, hell yeah, where are you? <laughs> I'm just doing something. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to go back in person soon, especially for yeah. kids, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, Jenna, if you don't have uh, Instagram, it's really fine. <laughs> Chris, I think you chose <laughs> another number. Uh <laughs> Okay. Chris is just reading everybody else's I mind, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and what what has been your favorite box that you curated so far? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't even know if I could say. I think they're all so unique, and I get excited like every new one that I have. Um, I love the May box just because it's Mental Health Awareness Month and yeah. I feel just really excited about that. Um, but I've also really loved like our March box was Empower for um, for Women's Month. Um, so that one was really cool to create. And then we also had Bold and Beautiful, which was February, which is all black women owned businesses, which was oh, nice. really fun to make. So I feel like every yeah. every month is something that's important to me, which is like why it's so exciting every time. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you part of the, there's a Facebook group, it's black owned, a subscri subscription box, uh, black owner, like, owned. Oh. Yeah. I I'll didn't have, even know about that. <laughs> yeah. I'll have uh, Trudy or one of, uh, Trudy for Hermione or one of them, send me the link mm -hmm. so I can send you. Yeah. So yeah, that would be each great. Other. Yeah. So, okay. okay. Did everyone guess? Ta -da. <laughs> if everyone did, you can uh, see the number maybe. Gail is asking if you're able to buy the products separately. Yeah, that's a great question. So um, yeah, we do have past products on our website um, under, there's like a little link on the top that says products. So our website is espressoyourselfbox.com and you can sign up for a subscription there and you can also look at past products um, and also past boxes. So if you don't wanna create a box for yourself, you wanna get like the May box or the April box. Um, and we also have Mother's Day boxes on there right now. Um, you can look through what's already been um, in past boxes. So great question. Yeah, I'm looking right now too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we have Mother's Day boxes, it's cool. Mm -hmm. There's one, oh, the Mother's Day box has chocolate. Yes, it's like a dark <laughs> chocolate caramel sea salt. It's so oh, good. <laughs> I think I might have, I don't know if I tried this one, but it came in a box, the company I was featured mm -hmm. in another box that I remember. So I, I recognize mm -hmm. the uh, packaging. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's $35. That's pretty good price. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I know Mother's Day is almost here, but yeah. if you want a belated Mother's Day, I can ship it out tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, there's one for expectant mothers, and the chocolate says "bun in the oven." I love it. Yes, so it's cute. 15. I know that's cute. <laughs> These are fun boxes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So did everyone guess? So we can say who the winner is. Ah. Okay. Maybe you can say it then. All right. We ready? <laughs> All right. My number Ooh. is eleven. Ooh. Okay, let's see now how to go back. Who was close? I don't know if anyone got close to that. Oh, Who's Kelly said 12. Kelly said 12. <laughs> Nancy said 8. So let's ah. see. I think Nancy's the winner because it's closest Ooh. without going over. Sorry, my finger's in the middle. I'm trying to get <laughs> So let me know if I'm missing anything. Let me check again. So yeah, 24, 12. Oh, Kelly, I feel bad for you. <laughs> Nancy, 8. And I think those were the only ones that went lower. Hey, Nancy, you won Yay, the coffee. Congrats. I'm so excited for you to try this <laughs> yeah. coffee. Yeah, I love it. It's dark roast. Really good if you add chocolate in there and make a little mocha. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this one's really delicious. So I can't wait to send it to you. Um, just send Lucia your mailing address um, or you can DM me directly and I will ship it out for you. What is your favorite coffee? Uh, I mean, just mean in, in general, yeah. like my yeah. favorite roast. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really like medium roast. Um, okay. I feel like you get a little mix of the dark, smoky, chocolatey flavor, but you can also get some of the lighter notes in yeah. there too. Um, but I've actually tried some light roast this year. I had light roast in my um, October, November boxes, and I was pleasantly surprised because I'm not usually a light roast person, but yeah, but I was very convinced. I was like, "This is so good!" Like the it it was more fruity flavored, but it was really, yeah. really good. So, I am yeah. not. I'm not like usually because I like it to be rich, and maybe I know mm -hmm. it depends on how much you put, you know, in the coffee maker. But usually, mm -hmm. with the same amount with the dark roast, I get it more like rich and bodied. I don't know. It's weird yeah. when I put creamer. <laughs> I don't feel like it's watery. I don't know. Like I yeah. like dark roast too. But I yeah. love trying different coffees, but my go-to is Folgers. And I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so basic. And I used to hate oh, Folgers. Man. And I would spend money, like, trying. And every time I would go to my husband's grandfather's house, they had, he made Folgers, and it was delicious. And I'm like, why can't I make it the same, you know? <laughs> and I finally, like, I tried it again, and it was like, oh, this is good, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it depends amazing, on how you make it too, right? Like making it stronger and, and then what you yeah. add into it. Like um, I've actually done, I think I did like a post on Instagram and I'm probably going to do a video soon about how to make really good quality coffee and, and using oh. like filtered water, how much you put in there, using good quality coffee grounds and yeah. and the milk texture. And then if you add any other things. Oh, I it. love that so, video. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. super fun. Super well, thank cool. you so much. I don't want to keep you because I know you might have yeah. to go back. 
So thanks again yeah. for coming and sharing with us and uh, sharing a book about coffee. And Nancy's the yeah. winner, so I'll have her. Um, Yay, congrats, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Alana. Have a yeah, good rest thank of your day. you. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye. Taster's Choice used to love. I don't remember Taster's, but I, I tried Maxwell's house and it was so bad. I could not, like, I was like, it's terrible. It's terrible, you guys. It's so bad. So I'm going to have another giveaway. I was just uh, filming today and doing videos. Hi, everyone. I don't know if I was able to say hello to everyone. <laughs> I know who she was. I love her name too. Alana is so beautiful. And she she's a beautiful girl too. But I have some goodies here in a box. I filmed and took pictures today. And I'm going to give away the May Her Mine box. Look how pretty this is. And it was really, I'm, I'm going to show you everything inside. It was really, really good. And I wanted to share with you guys. And I also have, I'm going to do maybe, should I do one one winner or two winners? You let me know. Um, I got, I thought, I canceled Hello Lovely Box because I'm just trying to like, you know, lower expenses. I cannot remember, there was a purpose why I canceled some subscriptions. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, you know, but I, I think I wanted to buy another box and I can't remember now. Like, so I wanted to open my budget for that. But they, I still paid for uh, May, um, May Hello Lovely Box. I unboxed to unbox um, the Cure Mind box, Universe Found box, Unplugged Book box, a new box called uh, So Sen, I think it is, and two kids, kids boxes, a story time book box, and smart cookie box. So um, the okay, we can do two winners: one for book lovers and one for those who don't read or don't want books. So the um, this is the April Hello Lovely box. It had this hat that says Reading Queen. And I don't wear hats, but I think it's really pretty though. But I just, I don't think I'll wear it, but I think it's awesome. So I'm going to give away the whole box, yes, okay? And it's it's not super big, but I, I, I'm adding things. So the book one will add some books. Ah, this is sticker saying, and then the princess saved herself. And we have a lip balm crown fixer. Uh, sisterhood with a splash of strawberry and then it comes with two ebooks uh royal Pastard and princess of samibia so and then i'll add some things from universe bound book let me see bound universe bound books let me see what we have a coaster with the logo someone's texting me um some sugar and stay tuned for something coming with that. <laughs> the bookmark. Look how cute the bookmark is. It's a wooden bookmark and it has a lady saying shh drinking coffee and a lady maybe drinking tea. I love it. It's so cute. And then this the cloud roads. It's kind of like a mythology mythology myth, mythological fantasy. Okay. I think <laughs> guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. We have some ginger tea. So that's what the sugar packets. There's some snacks, crispy corn puffs, miso soup, and then here's some shower steamers. And there's here snacks. We got some cookies and some uh, candy and stuff like that. And then um, this is a reactive asteroid dust. It's kind of like um, bath salts. Oh, it smells good. It smell good. I, I got two of those, so I'm sharing one. It's like it kind of it's like a bubble rubble. How do you call it? Where it's like yeah, like just dust. You know, like it goes bubbly and all. Stuff like that. We have a honey dip and scoop, and there's honey and jam. <laughs> so and some tea bags. So that's everything. We'll do that one giveaway, the book related one. And I think I might add a couple more books. So if you're into a book, if you're like really, really want to read, then <laughs> enter that one. And then for the Her Mind box, we have a room spray. This is eucalyptus, lemon, and grapefruit. And it smells amazing. And it's from Han producing uh, Coke or something like that. Then we have a lavender in purple Brazilian soap. Purple Brazilian clay, sorry. 
Smells really yummy. We got some tea from Steep, Steep and Sip, and they also sent some tea bags. Uh, yummy candle. This is Awaken Your Senses. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. It's grapefruit and mangosteen, which is a fruit from... They said it in the car. I can't remember now. Um, let me see if I can put, should put that in a baggie and protect it. I have some baggies here. So it's kind of protected. And please watch my video when I... Oh, actually, with her mind, I am doing a video of my favorite lifestyle subscriptions. So it will go kind of like in a group unboxing. We have a sheet mask and an eye mask. And it kind of has hollow eyes. So if you have lashes, it might not bother your lashes. So that's everything in this box. And I'll try to add a couple more things as I usually go to through my stuff and stuff like that. Maybe I'll add a book in there too. Depending on who wins, because I'll ask, you know, sometimes I ask, what's your favorite genre? And if I don't have any genre like that, then I don't. So we can do two giveaways today. Yay! Um, so let me, let me get a number, a random number generator, because I end up always going to the same number, right? The uh, gift boxes that are in Espresso Yourself uh, website look really good. Uh, and they're thirty five dollars. Uh, some of them are like lower than the April box. Had a coffee scrub. And what else? Oh, something like lip balm, a coffee that looks amazing, a toothbrush, and also but a papaya and pineapple enzyme mask. So a lot of items. Okay, so let me go to a random number generator. And let's do, should we do 1 to 100? I mean, 1 to one, one to 50? And then we'll do 50 to 100. So let's do 1 to 50 first. Okay, I have the number. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Nancy's okay. I, I haven't shipped yours, Nancy, because I... I don't know where I, if I have them or not, if I have to go to the post office and get more medium flat rate boxes. Uh, I thought I had some and I didn't, so forgive me. I'll send it soon. No, I sent yours, Nancy, I did. <laughs> so what? Did I send yours yesterday? Yes, I think I sent yours yesterday. And I need to send <laughs> someone else's. Gosh, you guys, today is crazy. I don't know why. I need more coffee. Yes. Yes, you should enter, Nancy. And then, oh, no, oh, it's okay. I was going to say, and I save on shipping because you want both, but <laughs> uh, but you want separately, so. Oh, you got it today? Well, that was fast. I think I shipped it yesterday. No, maybe the, yeah, maybe the day before. <laughs> I know. I was like, did I ship yours? No, the winner of my 2000 giveaway um, one contacted me and the other two, I kind of, oh, it was Miss Chris. Yes, Miss Chris. I had to send you. The, you're the one that's waiting. And then the other one, I can't remember who it was, but she's getting, she's getting a self-care serenity box from self-care serenity. So she can choose. And I was talking to who was it? I can't remember. <laughs> Sorry guys, but, um, you're welcome. I hope you like this stuff. I cannot remember what I put in there, but it was a lot. <laughs> Hopefully it was a lot. Um, so, okay. Did everyone guess? We're not that many here today. It's okay. It's a different time, so. Katie, maybe. Yes, Katie, you're right. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Oh, my gosh. You remember more than me. Uh, but, yeah, Katie, so. Yeah, sorry, Chris. I'm waiting. Like, I need to go either order them online or look for them or go to the post office to get them. I've just been super busy. And now it turns out I might have to go to the DMV. You guys, I don't know how. I don't know how I'm going to manage that. I was I called the DMV yesterday. I was waiting for one hour. So I went to, um, I left with two of my kids to Ross to exchange some stuff. And, and I kept the call on you know on while i was driving and then i realized i did, forgot the paperwork that i needed with all the information so i ended up hanging out so long story short like i we paid my we paid our registration and then we got a notice that we needed to do the smoke check you know and i don't know if i didn't open the letter or i don't know what it was like it took me a long time so to realize 
like November was our, you know, when we paid. And then in January, I went to the smoke check. <laughs> but I just, I don't know if I, I think I had the letter and I put it there somewhere and then I didn't, like I didn't open it. And then when I, when I'm like, wait, where's our, where's a little sticker? So I'm going to go check. I'm like, oh, you had to do the smoke check. So I went January 20, it passed. They said they send it automatically and our stickers are here. So yesterday our police pulled over. You know how we have those problematic neighbors? <laughs> well, it doesn't end, you guys, doesn't end. Now there's an, a guy living there, but she let him live there. So the police comes and I don't know, ask him, ask him. he has a car, had a car problem, whatever. So they were just in front of our door and I went to the, the officer and I said, hey, you know, just wanted to let you know that I'm waiting on my sticker. Um, and he's like, oh, let me run your plates. And he ran my plates and says, it looks like you, you still have the smoke check pending. I'm like, what? And I have, like, I have the paperwork that says certified, approved. I have the number, everything. So he said, oh yeah, you might have to go to the DMV. And I'm like, what? Um, I'm just going to mail, you know, like, I'm going to mail a copy of that and see what happens. Who wants to go to DMV? Like, I don't even know if they accept people. With... Anyway, like, I don't want to go to DMV, especially when I have my kids. I'm going to, you know, it's the way you So... Anyway, did everyone guess? Let me check because the number was 13. I know. I'm like, no one should be allowed to have to go to the DMV during the pandemic. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I know. I just, I'm going to mail it in, the copy and everything. Say, say please process and send me the sticker, you know, because then you get all those fix-it tickets. You're know, like, Ugh. that's why I was still in the office. And I was like, please don't, you know, like if you come over sometimes and you see it, Please don't ticket me or whatever because I'm on. I'm doing it. So 13 was the number. I think if everyone guessed, Gail won because she said five. And that was the closest one. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Gail. I need to write down because I forget these things, you guys. I don't know. Well, maybe you got I don't know, a pen. Seriously? I don't have one pen. Oh. I have a couple pencils. Just a couple of pencils, you guys. <laughs> Do you think this is enough? <laughs> I bought for my son, you know, because he's always losing. Um, he's always losing it. So this was the book one. Yes. Because I opened it first. So we'll do that. So I'm going to write down, uh, write down Gail. Okay. And message me and tell me what books you like. Because I have a couple also books that I got. And let's do now the one from 50 to 100 for the Her Mind books. Bigs. What? I know. <laughs> you no, know, why this? Because my son, you know, so he's always in these came three sharpened, which is a miracle. Uh how many were these? A hundred? Let me tell let me check. I don't know. But yeah, no, more than a hundred. I don't know how much. How many? It doesn't say. One hundred and fifty. <laughs> so let me generate, I'm gonna generate another number. Yes, because my son, he's always losing his pencils, you know? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy a ton. And he's like, they're here. Okay, have the number. So, yeah. They're Amazon Basics. So, yeah. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, you guys, for my kids to be in school. Even Walter's going to do some kind of program next year. And when William started school in a special ed because he's in the autism spectrum. They did five days a week, five hours a day. And I cried because I thought he was so little to go so long. And it was such a blessing because I had just, I had uh, Wesley. So when, uh, so when I would drop William off, he was, you know, in school for five hours, I could just catch up, you know, because I had a newborn. So, and also sleep. If Wesley was sleeping, I was sleep. Sometimes I would sleep the whole morning. From when the moment I dropped William off to the moment I had to pick him up, I slept. You know, like if the baby slept, I slept. So um, I was telling, I was asking, how long do you think the program's gonna be for Walter? Like three hours? Yeah, probably three hours. I'm like, that's not enough time. Because <laughs> then I have to go drop William and Westy and then Walter. I don't know if I had to drop him off at the same school, then go back home. And then, yeah, yeah, oh, 50 to 100. And then go back home. And then in three hours, and it's not three hours because from the moment, you know, you drive back, you get out of the car. It's like usually like an hour and a half. I had to leave again to pick Walter, come back home, which I'm probably not going to do, and then go pick up my other ones. So I have, you know, if I pick up Walter, let's say at 11, I get home like 1130, 
Then I have to leave again around 1.15 to pick up my kids at 2 or something. No, Wesley's going to be 1.15. See how it is? No, 1.50. Okay, anyway, you know. If you're a mom, you know how it is. The dropping time takes like 45 minutes. Picking up your child, dropping him off and picking up is like 45 minutes each time. So <laughs> if you have different schedules and stuff, it's like it's not, sometimes not even worth it to um, go back home. You know, just stay out, stay outside. But then, like, yeah, it's like, whatever. It would be nice if they, the thing is, Walter doesn't need special ed per se because he has vision problems. So it's not, he can learn, you know, uh, uh, you know, any other, any, uh, like he's, how do you call it, cognitive and developmental and stuff like that. It's good. So I don't know if he'll need five hours, but it would be really nice. Hi, Bum Bum. So, yeah, I just can't wait. Anyway, regardless. It would be nice to have even the oldest at school for five to six hours. And then even if I'm home for some hours with Walter alone, it's different, you know. Then like, mama, 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 mama. You know how my kids, then I pick, uh, my kids talk so much. <laughs> I don't know if all the kids are like that. They're like, mama, mama, mama. And they don't, it's funny because they don't say, mama, I want this. Or they, like they say, mama. And if I don't reply, they keep saying, mama, you <laughs> know. They don't say like, mama, I want something. I'm like, okay, okay, you know. I just have to be like, mama, mama, what? And then they're like, what? <laughs> mama, what? Just say it. I mean, seriously, sometimes it drives me crazy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm kind of glowy today. I think this is, uh, I was just like cleaning up and I kind of like sweat a little bit, developed a glow or something. Because I wanted a dewy finish, but then I ended up putting some powder on top because I didn't like the do we it was too much oh my god they take after me i know right like what if i what do i expect like really silent kids oh my gosh i feel so i feel bad sometimes like i have this mom guilt sometimes because william was such a good baby that he played alone next to me all the time and i would be on my own not on my own but i would read books or be on social media or make videos and stuff like that and he was always there with me and I feel, I now sometimes I feel bad. I'm like, I didn't play enough with him, you know, uh, because he was so, uh, he was, I don't know, he was just like very happy and content. He wasn't demanding, you know, other kids, like my other two, like, mama, can you play with me? Can you play with me? And and then I'm like, okay, you know, I said, and sometimes it, I mean, they want me to play with them all day. And I tell them, okay, mama has to do, you know, adult things. You guys have siblings, <laughs> give you siblings to play together. Um, they love playing with me or my husband. Like that's like their highlight, you know, they're like, oh, thank you, Gail. I love this dress. It's so cute. It's for one from Trunk Love. And now today I was thinking like, should I return it? And he still had the tax and I'm like, no, I'll leave it. It's so cute. Um, yeah, but then I feel, I feel so guilty sometimes. I can't, I can't forgive myself about that, about like, not sitting on the floor and playing more with William because he was so happy just playing by himself and I was like doing other stuff you know um I don't know sometimes that thing you know it can be so hard and then with Wesley he he played by himself too and with William so I was always there you know like I never worked full time and um I was there you know but I don't know sometimes I'm like it was that enough <laughs> yes yeah, it's a fly one yeah, I mean, I think so. You know, there's a, the other day we went to a little mother's beach in Long Beach with my parents. It's like a beach that has, it's kind of like a, it's a beach, but it has no waves, you know? It's like very, um, yeah, no waves. So it's kind of like a shore. And I was telling my mom about this story. The last time I went to that beach, um, there was this girl, and I'll tell you a story if you guys want to hear, but I, I made friends in a nursing group, like nursing babies group. Uh, I made friends with this girl and she had a baby William's age, a little girl. And we started going, like we started running almost every day. So I would go to her house and then we go running or she'd come to my house, but I mostly went to her house, which is totally fine. And for some reason, uh, one day I started, I started feeling that she wasn't really feeling the friendship anymore. You know, when you got, you know, get that feeling and like, okay, you know, like, I don't know what happened. Maybe one time I told her about my family drama, but we kind of were both talked about our families, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, you can never guess sometimes. If people don't tell you, it's like impossible to know. So then one day, um, they, I, she asked, I mean, I don't, know, I don't remember if I asked her, but she came with her husband to watch William for our anniversary, I think it was. And they came to our apartment. They were super nice. So 
they watched him. And I thought, okay, maybe things are fine, you know, because she came to my house to watch the kid. I mean, and then I kept feeling, getting the same kind of feel, you know. So one time this one mom texts, hey, you guys want to go to Mother's Beach? And I said, yes, I'll go. And I was waiting to see if this girl, my, my friend, would say yes or no because I was going. So she said, I'll be there. And I'm like, oh, okay. So now I'm going to see her face to face. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get a feel of what's going on, you know. And I'm getting ready to go to the beach. I'm driving to the beach. When I get there, I get a message from the mom that organized everything. She said, hi, I can't make it. And I don't remember who else had confirmed. So the moment I get to the beach, I... Um, I text everyone in a group message. Hey, I'm here. I'm by tower one, blah, blah, blah. Cause then my husband, and I'll tell you later why I said, if you, let me know this. Are you guys there? If you are the first to arrive to a place, is everyone else supposed to go and find you if you say where you are? Or was I wrong to say, Hey, I'm here. I'm the first one. I'll just sit out camp. Cause my husband then told me, well, you should have gone with everyone was. But I said, yeah, but I was the first one. So am I supposed to like get up and go if someone else comes? Okay. So I'll tell you the story. So I set up camp with William. He goes, I don't think he was walking at that time, but I sit him next to the shore. I'm like one feet away from him and no one was coming. No one was coming. And I started brooding and brooding. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to stand me up because this girl, my friend was the only one that was supposed to get like. All right. And I'm like, she's going to send me up. She's going to send me up because she know now she doesn't want to be alone with me, you know, because there's something weird. And I started brooding and brooding and brooding. I got such a bad mood. And, and West William was sitting down the shore, just having fun. And I was just, instead of me going to him, and, like, and again, he was like right in front of me, but I was just like, you know, looking at the phone and, and I was just like brooding and saying, you know what? How dare she send me up? Blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, all these things. And, William was having like such a hard time, in the, uh, such a fun time in the water. And then I like, why didn't I just go there and play with him? You know? And then I get a text from this girl and she says, Oh, an hour later, one hour later. Okay. She says, Oh, you're here. Oh, I've been here on the other side of the beach, like on the other side with more moms. I don't even know to this day. I don't know who else was there. Cause I actually asked later, did you go? Did you go? Like I asked several moms and like, no, I didn't go that day. I didn't go. So who, was she referring to? I don't know. So she'd say, I'll go find you. Okay. So I'm waiting there in a couple minutes. You know, sometimes when you're waiting, it seems longer than it is. So I'm just waiting. Five minutes go by. I don't see her. And I start packing up slowly. I start packing up my thing slowly. And like, if I see her, good. Ah, uh, get this. I pack my stuff. I get William. I walk to my car. I drive to my home. Okay. And when I get home, go inside, like I get William out of the car and everything though. So I was like about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I get a text from her saying, did you leave? Cause I went around to find you, but I left my phone in my purse. So I couldn't call you while I was looking for you. I'm like, hi, Carrie. I'm like, did you, because I mean, seriously, like, why would you go find me and not bring your phone so you can call me? Cause it's a beach, you know, you might not actually find me. So you call me. I mean, it was just so weird. Then to this day, I think she never went to the beach and she just said, Oh, I'm here with my moms. And then I can't find you. Oh. And then, you know, sorry, we have to go. I think, I don't know what her plan was. I don't know if she was there. Um, but this is the thing, like she didn't see, maybe she didn't see the message that I say, I'm here. So then she went and said, come somewhere else. And that's where the conflict was. So I was so frustrated and so hurt. Yeah. Something didn't add up, you know? And I never, I don't know why I never, now I feel like I want to ask her now, even if it's been years later. No, we never did. Cause I did. <laughs> I messaged her when she said, Oh, did you leave? And I said, yes, I left. You know, I don't think you actually wanted to hang out with me. So I just left and she said, Oh, I'm so sorry. You feel that way. Have a great day. So she was not that worried about losing my friendship, you know? Um, Cause she would have said, oh, no, Lucia, not at all. I was there like, blah, blah. like, Oh, I'm sorry. You feel that way. That's so I don't know if she was there, if she wasn't, or if she was there and didn't want to see me. So then she pretended she, you know, she spent one hour by, by herself with another mom or, or she never went. I don't know. 
sometimes I feel like I took her off Facebook, I took her off Instagram. And sometimes I think like I should have messaged her, hey, whatever happened, you know? Like something happened. So I don't know. It's just like, yeah, sometimes, and I have this hard time. I talked to a therapist one time when I, when I had William, someone from the county, I don't know how it was. Like they came to my home. They, it's like, it's free service. So they go and they check how you are and everything. And there was this therapist and I said, like, I don't get it. Sometimes it happens to me in some friendships. Like, I feel like some people, you know, they're they not, you know, like, I don't know how you call it. You know, they're interested. And she said, well, you know, like sometimes it's like, it's about chemistry and about like some connection that you have. Like some days I, maybe I was a slow runner. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> she's like, Oh, I don't like this. Um, yeah. Uh, what was it? She's like, sometimes I like one shirt, like my black shirt more than my white shirt. It doesn't mean I don't love my white shirt. It's just like, I want to wear my black shirt. You know? <laughs> and that was a good way to say it. Cause I asked her like, and I asked her a million times, it, there's something wrong with me, I would say. And she's like, no, there's nothing wrong with you. I don't know if this therapist, like, she wanted to make me feel better, you know, but I would love to discover if I do something that turns people off, you know. She's like, no, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just people sometimes don't have chemistry with you and it's, you know, or they stop having that chemistry or they, you know, they want to uh, dedicate time to meet other people and stuff like that. sorry that's true laura yes that is the story of my life with me and my family my parents are the same way they would always like i don't know we go to a church and they invite couples over for dinner and they never get an invitation back you know and then maybe they find out they have dinner they invite other couples over you know and they're like what well, what's going on you know so yeah that that is definitely true that i've had in life to lower my expectations and and even, you know, we talk about my, to my parents, too. It's like, not everyone's like us, you know? <laughs> like, they're not going to do what we think we would do. Uh, and, yeah, people are weird. <laughs> I know. I, this was years ago. This was, like, six years ago. But I just thinking about those. The point of the story was that I was thinking about that time when instead of me playing with William and having a good time and, you know, laughing, I kept, like, I was focusing on other people's, you know, like, other people other people's love for me which is crazy you know how you know like given that time and ruin because then i left and and william was had a great time at the beach but i don't know sometimes i want to hang out with my <laughs> kelly that's so funny <laughs> that's crazy you know what i think it was and i think this is this is my my but we went to Argentina for seven weeks that year. So I didn't see her for a long time. And when we, and we had an amazing trip with my husband, we went a lot of places, but there was also some family drama, you know? Um, my sister had just gotten married to a guy, the guy, uh, I don't know if she's here, but there was some immaturity going on. We had some, you know, arguments about money and stuff like that because we were, me and my husband were paying for everything. So sometimes he wouldn't like that we, you know, brought it up or whatever not not brought it up on purpose but wow well, well, i saw that i know but I, can't, I have no way of talking i have no way of talking to my dad right now okay i'm doing it in a second i don't know and um so when we came back she said tell me everything about your trip and i don't know why some kind of fight i think because we had a new argument with my sister's husband at the end when we were leaving or something and everything's fine now you know but I think that was fresh in my mind. So then I told, I started telling this girl like, oh my gosh, you don't know, like this drama. And I don't know if that, maybe she's like, this woman just came from a trip to Argentina and the first thing she's telling me is about her family drama. Like she's a Debbie Downer, you know? Maybe that's what it was. Like That's what I feel. Because right after I came from Argentina, everything was fine. And like we had that run and I told her, and maybe I think maybe she's like, oh my gosh, Lucia's so negative. Maybe, um, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no pun friends i know oh my god uh there's a really funny video i don't know if you know about those parents um they're a couple and they do like parody videos i know latino drama <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, so maybe like, but she told me she had told me in the past about her family drama. So I don't know, like maybe it was too much. Maybe she thought I should have been more positive. I don't know. You know, th that was fresh in my mind, and I just anyway. But um, there was this couple on YouTube that uh they do like they do parody videos and i seriously crack up and there was one like coming back to the office and the anxiety of like having to go back to the office you know and this lady is like she's like starts farting and and the husband's like kim are you okay what's going on can you hold it in and she's like literally like the muscles that used to hold it in are so atrophied right now that i don't think i can you know she goes to the office and she brings like an inflatable mattress to like work on the bed no she didn't i went to Virginia for seven weeks and then when i came back we went running and she said tell me everything about your trip so i started with that kind of like uh, some family drama you know like, oh my gosh you know like this happened and we had a fight with my sister's um husband and blah 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 and i don't know like that's that's what i think because everything was fine and then i started feeling like she kind of like drew apart so anyway no it was funny the video was like this woman goes to the office with her bed in um, sweatpants. <laughs> She's like living like she was living in Argentina, like in, in the house. Anyway, so <laughs> it was just crazy. Did I just a winner for the second giveaway? Did I? Gail won one, right? Okay, the number was 81. <sighs> we shouldn't go up the dungeon because now I have to go up a bunch of numbers. So anyway, yeah, it is what it is, right? People come and go, oh, I just, okay, let's see. Um, 77, that's close, close. 78, closer. That's it. Wait, no one else entered? So we have Sue said 77. Oh, because we have 50. Okay, yeah, yeah, 78. And then we have other ones that are lower. That's what I was looking at. So Patricia won, I think, 78 because the number was 81. Let me know if I'm mistaken. Oh, Carrie. Oh, yes. No, but today has been, a, you know, we start at 2. So, oh, sorry, Yvonne won. I think you could have guessed one number next time. Try some shiny. What the heck? Ugh. so yeah patricia i think patricia you've won a giveaway from me before didn't you so yay i'll book everything up you guys and we'll have some fun so i think the uh hermione i might send it in the same box because why not this was a weird time we had we did a 2 2 p.m carry because um alana from espresso yourself she couldn't do, she had that break, you know, something like that. And if not, she was able to do it at six. And I thought six was going to be too late for people in the East Coast. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. But it's, you know, we'll go, go back to five. I think five is a good time for. Let me know if you guys think that I should I go like every other week or should I do every week? Let me know. If you guys think it's too much. Oh, I don't think I showed this, but the her mind box had this amethyst. So pretty. Um, okay, Sue. So I will indulge you, but give me one second. The only fear that I have sometimes when I show too much, <laughs> not that I show too much, but I mean show before the video is that then no one's gonna watch the video. I know you do Sue, but you know what I mean. Okay, let me put this away for Patricia. I know, so beautiful, right? It's like it almost seems like someone just went seriously and like on the on the um what do you call it? On the cave or something. Where do crystals come from? They come from caves, right? We have the unplugged. They sent me the adult box this time. And I don't know why. Uh, I think I might have said I feel like Melanie read my mind because I don't think I told her that I the um I, I thought the adult book 
sounded interesting, but I think now that I'm thinking about it, I, it was a young adult. But anyway, I don't know if she read my mind or if I told her that I if she had any extra adult books to send me. I don't know. I'm going to check, but I think maybe she just read my mind. I don't know. So ignore me. Ignore my craziness. I don't know where the card is. Let me see. The theme was vitality, but I don't know where I have the card. So one of the first items is this lunch bag. And I don't know if you guys heard, but um, it's a lunch bag inspired by Nevernight. And I can't remember the name of the author because I don't have my card. I have it right here. Oh, no, sorry. Let me check. I'm going to check around a little bit. No, it's not here. That's weird. I was just doing pictures. Anyway, the author, the, supposedly there were a couple authors that, oh yeah, crack, that's what I mean, like, it looks like someone like just got, um, apparently there were some authors that did, like, they were, they found some social media posts about racism or homophobic comments. I can't remember exactly. People were like, I need some pants. In rage. Okay, come here, mama. Um, and... Here you go, baby. Careful. And um, anyway, so a lot of people were super mad. And they said in uh, in the product card, they said that they're not going to have any more products inspired in Nevernight on the author. I guess these, you know, since they planned months in advance, maybe they were already on produ in production and stuff. So, so that's the thing. So we have a adult fiction photo challenge. They have also prompts, journal prompts for inner strength. We have a Stephen King inspired uh, foot soak. This super cute enamel pin and by inspired by Anne of Green Gables. Look how pretty that is. It has the braids there. Um, the book came with, and I think, I don't know if, no, who was it? Mary is not here today, but I think she might like this book. Um, it comes with an author's letter and signed book plate. We have a Nora Mist coffee data. It's, I, why don't I have the card with me, you guys? Oh, it's here. <laughs> it's here. Okay. The lunch bag, um, Nevernight. The main character, Mia Masho, please note, we will not include products inspired by this author in the future and are donating partial proceeds from this box. Uh, I don't know Nevernight, who was the author of Nevernight, but yeah, maybe Jay Kristoff? That's the one. Jay Kristoff was one of the ones that had uh, some, yeah, maybe it was him in the other, another woman. It wasn't Lee Duo, I don't think, but... And this was inspired in the Midnight Library. Have you guys read it? Let me know if you like it. Uh, coffee. So I guess she, she regrets missing a coffee date. But um, I don't know. I've heard good things about the book. Just a coffee scrub. I might include this in uh, either a giveaway today or in the future. We'll see. We'll see how much space I have in the boxes. Jude St. Francis. This is also a candle. I can't. Let me see. I, mean, I can't remember. It's A Little Life. I haven't read it. Mm, it smells good. It smells like cinnamon, coffee. I don't know. Baked goods, it says, but it's not. I don't know. It's one of, kind of like a fall scent. And the book is The Rose Code. It's kind of like a war, second World War, second? Yeah, one. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, second. I'm like 1940. Um, it has two days, 1940, 1947. So it's three girls that get separated, but then 1947, they come together to crack a code. You know how in the Bled Bletchley Circle, I don't know if you guys remember, it was this women who worked for, um, who worked for a secret, secret service to crack a code that Hitler was sending so they could know where he was going to be and stuff like that. Kind of like that. It kind of has that vibe. So historical fiction. So I think Mary would like it. I don't know. We kind of swap books sometimes with Mary. So I thought of her when I saw it. And I don't remember if this was the book that I actually wanted from Unplugged. I mean, I'm grateful for every, like every box and every book. But I can't remember. One was like, I remember that I thought that I wanted the adult box. And I usually get the young adult. Are you kidding me, Gally? <laughs> Unplugged book box. Um, but anyway, let me check. I'll tell you if you care. I actually thought about 
Oh, I know why I unsubscribed to some boxes because I wanted to get the authentic book box for May and I think they'll close the orders now. That's why I unsubscribed to some. Um, I would love to get both. Like I get usually on Black Book Box the young adult one and I don't know why she sent me in the adult. Maybe she had extra ones. Um, but I would love to subscribe to the other one. <laughs> uh, let me check. I'm sorry. No worries. Okay, sorry. Let me I got I got carried away with something. <laughs> Uh, I'm blocked from Instagram, you guys. Can you believe that? I was liking too many too many posts too fast. I was like going crazy, like liking everyone's and then like blocked. Do you guys, any of you, I don't know, I don't want to be controversial, but I just found out this morning something. And I want to know, what do you guys think? I used to love the Dagger family, love, okay, not love, because some things I don't agree, some things I like. And I just found out today that the older, you know, the older brother who had had problems because he molested some of his sisters and stuff like that. And he cheated on Allison, that website. Well, now they found child pornography in his computer. And this is going to sound judgmental, so forgive me. I'm going to be judgmental, okay? But this is the thing. She had the wife... They had one or two or three kids, right? And then he cheated on that Madison, whatever. What was it? Like, I don't know, that website. And then they reconciled and she said, I'm going to stand by him. I could have left, blah, 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 blah. I think those poor women don't have an option to leave because they don't, you know, they don't have studies. They don't have anything, no, no work experience, nothing. Is he going to prison? Okay, here's the thing, Chris, and this is going to sound judgmental, but I'm sorry. If your husband cheats on you, okay, if you find out that he has problems molesting little girls, do you keep having children with him? Why do they need to keep having children? They already had two or three. Just close it. Close it down. Now she has six or seven. How many do they have? Like six or seven. They just had a baby, right? And then a child pornography. And then he's going to prison. Like, he's going to leave seven kids. Without, you know, with the knowledge that their father is in prison for child pornography. Those kids are going to have to carry that for the rest of their lives. Hi, Heather. Oh, my gosh. You came in a heavy time. It's not always like this, you know. But I'm just saying, like, I was so mad. I was telling my husband, like, why did they have to have seven kids? That bothers me, you know. Like, it, sorry, it bothers me. On top of it, what disturbs me is, like, they have this you know, like obsession with having so many kids and like she cannot, I feel, and this is, this is me judging because I don't know, but I feel because she had three kids when everything happened or two or three, like she cannot stop having kids because that is her only purpose. Like, what is she going to do if she doesn't give birth? You know, but I'm like, now that we know that he has child pornography, I'm like, you're giving kids to your husband who might end up being abused in the future. Like, stop it. Stop. Okay, to take birth control, lady. You have three already. Like, that is a good number. But no, they have to keep having kids and giving it because, you know, that's how they did it. Like, the parents did it. Look at this. Look at this. Anyway, don't get me started. I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> Sorry. I'm upset. Yeah, I know. They found, like, 200. I think it wasn't, like, 200. It's not, it's a lot. But I think they found those. I was telling my husband, like, they found 200. How many did he delete, you know? Yes, he was released on bail. Yeah, the thing is, he's not allowed to be with his children unless his wife is there. But she, his wife is going to be like, yes, I'm here. But she could leave the room, you know. She's not going to be watching the kids all the time. I know, it's just disgusting. And to be honest, like, I'm kind of mad at her too. I know it's not supposed to, but I am. Because... I just feel like she could have said, okay, you know, you cheated on me. Um, they reconcile, whatever. They could. I know a family who 
came together after infidelity and they were restored like and they had another baby you know but they're having yeah no had two more babies but what i'm saying is they she should have said like okay you know Uh, like, yeah, so he has to have, like, oh, my gosh, Kelly. That is cool. That is gross. That is terrible. What kids? His kids were young as well in the pictures. No, no, no. That kid, that guy, that guy has serious issues. And it's really sad because I used to like how they, not everything about how they brought them out, but I, I used to think, like, oh, my gosh, you know, they're so obedient to their parents and they're so pure and like healthy i don't know you know i feel sometimes like the most the more you like repress the kids and they you know it goes worse i don't know i mean some of their daughters jill and i think ginger they don't have a good relationship with their parents oh my gosh that's terrible we're talking about a uh, josh dagger from the dagger family of 19 kids and counting <laughs> i just found out today that he was you know they, it just it just makes me angry the other day i saw on instagram you know sometimes when you go and discover a picture of her and she had like and the new baby right and i'm like why i mean i get it some people want to have 10 kids okay but after all they've been through like i just feel like don't bring any more kids to the marriage because you don't know if he's gonna cheat on you again like seriously and then what happens if he leaves you after he cheats i mean it could happen i know it could happen in any marriage but if he already has a past i would not keep having kids i mean or especially if they already had like three or something like that's good, you know, be happy and try to restore your marriage, you know, and I don't know, like keep maybe a close, more close leash on your husband and not to have so many kids. You know, I don't know how this woman do it either. Like they have six, seven kids. I don't know how they keep the sanity. They must have help because it's insane. But anyway, I can't, I was looking at the, the books for <laughs> I'm black book boxes anyway. <laughs> What do you guys? Uh, I was um. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Don't even like that got me so mad because you already the 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 sad thing and kind of like what everyone I think will be angry about is that he was he already had problems with the law because of that. He said he molested some of his some little kids, some of his sisters, sisters. <gasps> gosh. Oh, no, no, he's he's obviously having a compulsory problem. Like, he can't stop himself. Oh, my gosh. Don't even, no. I don't even want to know. <laughs> Those kids. Is... So, anyway, it came out that he molested, like, I don't know, some of his sisters. He apologized or whatever. His family had dealt with it and the wife. And then he went and cheated on that cheater website, for like a website for cheaters. So, I mean, if I was a wife, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I get that she stayed and I get it, you know, like no one's perfect. People can make mistakes if he was really repentant, blah, blah, blah. But so sad for this, the, the wife. And I kind of matter the wife too a little bit. <laughs> I'm not saying it's her fault, not, not uh, at all. It's not the, the woman's fault that he's going like, no. Yeah, like it's not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not. What he does has nothing to do with the wife. But the, what I'm mad at her is like for for having so many kids after, you know, because now more kids are gonna be suffering, and she's gonna have to take care of them by herself, you know. Or like I'm sure family's gonna help, but it's like more kids are gonna have a missing dad, a dad in prison. That is a huge scar. And uh, why did he go to jail for? I mean, he's gonna have some problems in prison too. But I don't know. I just, I think, like I said, they should have say, okay, let's take a break from having kids. We don't have to have 19 like your mom, you know, we can be smart. God gave us smart, you know, he gave us wisdom to decide when is a good time to have a baby or not. You know, I can't find, give me one second. I was <laughs> now like when something gets obsessed in my head, you know, I just have to know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know they, you know, get like kid murderers or kid molesters. They, they get kind of like a punishment. But I 
Okay, I got it. I got it. So the book was that one. And then the young adult book for May was The Ones We're Meant to Find. I don't know if I wanted that one. I don't know now. No idea. Anyway, so we got that. Now I'll do another box and then maybe we'll say goodbye because my husband slept four hours and he was like, make a turn. I'm like, no. If you decided to sleep four hours, it's not my fault. But it's okay. I'm going to try to be nice. Let me see. You guys want to see any kids? No. The kid one is kind of hard. It's hard to show. Um, but let me see. This one is a so thin box. And this is a self-care box. Wellness box with all black owned businesses. Brand new. So please watch the video when I put it because my numbers are terrible, you guys. Sometimes I just want to quit. <laughs> I know. I know I say that all the time. But it is true. Like, it's kind of disheartening when you make a video and you're like, oh, the views are like so low. I'm like, why? The algorithm, YouTube algorithm doesn't like me. But the, the clothing subscription box. Uh, bye, Cheryl. No worries. Um, clothing subscription box, they have better views. So maybe I'll just be uh, focusing on those. Okay. So please, if you have like, if you've seen this, just watch it anyway, please. And let it run. Even the tissue paper it says, so send box. Super cute. And this is, they have, um, they have monthly and seasonal. So you can buy a seasonal. This is a spring box. And, um, they also have monthly. So we have eucalyptus balm. And this is like basically the balm for after the shower. It smells so yummy. Oh my gosh. Eucalyptus, but also with a hint of that cocoa butter. Oh my gosh, so good. Then we have a facial polish, brightening and facial polish. We mix with water. I need to use this more. I forget. We have a conditioner, heavy conditioner for coilies. It's kind of like for that, maybe like black hair, very um how do you call it? Even for mine, I think it would be good. What do you guys think of my ponytail? I did this last night and when I went to shower and I was like, I think I'm going to keep it up because I don't feel, you know how long it will take me to straight all this? Sometimes it takes me like an hour. Then we have body, hair, and honey. And this is, um, you can put it on your hair or your body, which is awesome. And then we have a bubble bar. It looks like a, oh my gosh, now I want to eat some. I'm still doing keto and I lost 10 pounds total, you guys. Uh, but last night I had Chick-fil-A and I ate a little bit of potatoes and a little bit and the salad I had Mommy. was hi baby Mommy. what happened Mommy. did you hit him no, I didn't. why is he saying you hit him no, I, didn't. I don't know why where's puppy Six. anyway this looks like a poppy seed scone what are you doing Walter careful um now when I eat a scone. Mm. There was one coffee it? place in Seal Beach that had a espresso chocolate chip scone. Oh my gosh, don't even get me sorry. So one six items in the six <laughs> one, two, three, five items. <laughs> yeah. Oh you have really beautiful hair, Laura. The problem and you probably know this is that the first day you leave it in this air dry, you do this, right? I do this a lot. And you have I have gorgeous curly hair. This I did a little bit of um, no, no, no. with the straight dyer. I kind of molded the curls i'll tell you what is real this is this is real like, no not this one anyway i don't know what to show you that that underneath that's real curls ah uh, it's okay yeah he can stay if he doesn't well not both of them anyway what i was saying is yeah it's a lot of hair yeah i know the same thing i tried to make like a french braid and my arms were getting down i'm like oh my gosh and I don't know how to make a food break. But anyway, I had Chick-fil-A salad and it had, you know, the breaded chicken nuggets. And this morning I weighed and I was like, I gained a little bit, but okay, you know, like weight fluctuates. But yeah, well, the thing is with the cur curly hair is the first day after you, I air dry it, it looks beautiful. All the curls because it's air dry. I did this, you know, put, but then the next thing you go to sleep and it looks, you know, it looks like all messed up and you can't brush it. So you're going to have to wet it again. And I end up always putting it up because it's a lot, you know, so. And I have a lot of frizz here. So I did put some stuff. I did put some product. And look at this. Like this. 
I should buy one of those sprays. It looks worse on camera, actually, but anyway. Hi, thank you, Laura. I, yeah, my parents also noticed that I was actually talking on FaceTime and I noticed my face was a little skinnier. Yeah, 70 pounds to go. Doing keto. Oh, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard because I don't feel like it's working, then it works. But it, keto is, is... Oh, thank you, Gail. I know. My mom has straight hair, too, and she always does... She makes... Um, she goes to the salon to get perms. Yeah, this is... And I'm kind of probably the one that has the curliest in my family. My two sisters... You're making so much noise, Wes. Don't yeah, don't open it now. I'm gonna open it. Open it. No, please. Because it makes a lot of noise. Oh, wait, wait. Can I put no, because you know that Walter will slam the door, okay? Can I put puddles? Um, my mom has straight puddles? hair. Yeah, my sister Laura has very hey. thick, wavy hair. And then has me, my younger sister has straight hair, kind of wavy, Get but out. she doesn't have almost Get any out. hair. Puddles. And Get it doesn't grow past puddles. here. Like, it gets to here and it doesn't grow anymore. Or like my sister, like, she's like, can you give me a form? I was like, I want your hair and I want to analyze it. She says, because, you know, I went, I'm sorry, okay. I went to do my biolage. Well, it was what, like a month ago? I don't know. And I already, you can, I already have like half an inch of growth. It grows really fast. I'm going to go puppy, you guys. You make, yeah. oh my gosh, this kids. Yeah, I used to wear, um, I don't know if you have on Facebook, I used to wear my hair all the time. Like, when I, I don't know, when I was going to work and every day, like, down, everyone was like, oh, your hair's so beautiful. Um, and it was long and curly. I don't know why I didn't straighten more often. I didn't have any kids. I don't know. I just, oh, I was working out. That's the thing. I was working out, and I wanted to wash it almost every day after working out. So um, I didn't have straighten. Thank you. I thought, well, you know, why not? Because sometimes, why? I don't know why it up. stays that long. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the problem is that this is here. My the my line is, is terrible. My shoes. And, my this shoes. Is here. Wow. and then the my frizz. Shoes. But today I put no, some pomade and stuff like that. So. Thank you guys. Some days, you know, you to do. are the kids too loud? <laughs> but <laughs> thank you. I uh curly hair method. I was looking at some videos and I, someone told me, oh, be careful, don't go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> is it easy? Is it is it maybe what I'm already doing? Like you put conditioner or leave-in conditioner, you scrunch it up like this. Because that was really good for my hair too. Like you will get really beautiful. But but then what happens when you go to sleep? The curls, how do they look? All the hair kind of gets a little bit like you know, like it's fuzzy. That's it. That's the word. Like the curls get fuzzy and you can't brush it, so you have to wet it again and do the thing every day. So. Careful, where's he? His finger. Gosh. Um. But anyway, I think we'll uh, say goodbye, you guys, because now the kids. Bye. Oh my baby, you're so cute. I have to do a couple things for my um my sister, and my mom. Um, <laughs> anyway, is any any one of you that has keto, silk pillow, or use a gorrito? Ah, maybe that's it. That's that. So it doesn't get all fuzzy. The curls. You know, I'm looking, like, you know what I mean? When you um when you do your hair curly and then you go to sleep and it's all like messed up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. Walter, what are you doing? Walter, you're so funny. Go take it to Papi. Ask Papi to put on a plate. Okay. <gasps> okay, well. Uh, that's a good idea. I'll try it. What I like about straighten it is that I feel like it's easier to just put in a ponytail and I don't have that much frizz. Uh, you can do a bun, you know, it's all like kind of presentable and, you know, polished. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of cream here and I'm going to put it straight in his mouth. <laughs> Did you get some? Open your mouth. <laughs> no one sees that inside water. I see inside water. Mm, nom, nom. Let me see your water. So people, people in the keto group, 
they are using this extra creamy whipped cream with some fruit. And that's why sometimes I'm like, am I doing the right thing? Because it sounds like I'm eating things that I wouldn't normally eat in a diet, you know? But because we're eating no carbs. Wait, wait, wait. This is so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. Uh. Yummy? Mmm. You're so funny, Walter. I'm Maya. Okay. <laughs> You're so funny. Maya. 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 Oh my Maya. gosh. Maya. Yeah, I don't think there's any more. <laughs> Maya. Bye, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you next Thursday. Bye. I can't remember who we have. But some... No more videos? Not for now, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, that's it. There's some more. Oh my gosh, you're getting. No videos? Um, I don't have to make any more today unless I get more boxes in the mail. Yay! Put this in the trash. Trash, trash. There's no more, Walter. Oh my gosh. You're so funny. He's drinking in the bottle. Okay, go. Glass bone. Do you guys want to go get uh, maybe a cookie? Yeah, maybe. I want cake up and cake and a yummy cake for William. My yummy cake for William. Maybe. And a cookie for me. Maybe. And a cake up for There's Walter. There's no more, see? Oh, no more. <laughs> and a cake up for Walter. Show your face, Walter. Come here. Open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no more. No more Walter. Trash. No, I said there's no more, Chulo. Are you silly? Are you silly? Me? Why? Chip. Are you silly? No. Oh my no. gosh. Seriously? Here, clean it up. Bye, guys. <laughs>